How you doing, aficionados? Chris Basso, www.tobaccoworldcigars.com. I'm standing here with Eric Espinosa, owner of EO Brands, creator of 601, Vibe, and Rio. I know you're familiar with those brands. We've been selling them to you for the past year online. The 601 is something new and something that I felt it was appropriate to recommend as a Cigar of the Week this week. One of the reasons being, most importantly, it's a great cigar. But number two, ever since my first video email that I did with you all, I was getting in a lot of responses and people were asking for me to recommend something by Pepin Garcia. I went one step further with it. I brought Pepin Garcia in today personally to talk to you guys about the different cigars that he's making. Pepin, what is it that makes your cigars so different from the rest? What is different? Why do the tobacco you it's a, a tradition that uh, comes from Cuba. De la fermentación del tabaco. The fermenting of the, of the tobacco. Se trabaja sobre las capas en una cuarta fermentación. And uh, the, the way he uh, handles the wrapper with uh, just a quarter of fermentation. Además de ligar distintas zonas de tabaco and uh, the way he blends different types of tobacco from uh, different parts of the country. Y distintas semillas de tabaco. And the different seeds of tobacco. Todas las semillas que yo uso son procedentes de semillas cubanas. All the seeds he use are, they come from uh, Cuba. Muchas son cosechadas por cubanos. A lot of them are grown by Cubans. Que llevan muchos años aquí en el exilio. They've been, a, they've been here for many, many years. Y yo traigo toda la tradición de Cuba desde que nací, nací en esto. He's brought, he's brought all the tradition from Cuba and he's been born in this. La, el éxito o la, o la forma es, yo trabajo un tabaco muy tradicional a los Montecristo. He, uh, he's, he, one of his favorite cigars was the Monte Cristo, so he, what he does is he, he blends his tobacco very similar to, to the way they blend them back there in Cuba. Dentro de algunas líneas mías se encuentra también algunos parecidos al Pantagá y otros al Achehuma. And a lot of his blends, you, you, you have a little bit similar taste to the, the, the Cubans, uh, Partigas and H. Upmans. That, that was going to be one of my next questions. I wanted to ask, um, is there, a lot of people, a lot of my customers ask, is he using Cuban tobacco in these cigars? Hay muchos clientes que quieren preguntarte por qué eh, que si tú estás usando eh, eh, tabaco cubano, eh, ¿por qué los tabacos tuyos saben tan, tan buenos y por qué saben tanto a, a los tabacos cubanos? Sí uso tabaco, es, es casi el mismo tabaco cubano. Es la semilla cubana cosechada en Nicaragua, en Honduras y en Ecuador. He says, um, it's not really uh, Cuban tobacco, but it is from the Cuban seeds. He brings everything. Everything he does, it he does it in a form just like the Cuban style. En tierras muy similares, yo escogí las tierras muy similares a San Juan y Martínez, Cuba, y a la parte del hoyo de Manicaragua en el centro del país. What he does, he 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 selected the the fields in Nicaragua, Honduras, and Ecuador that are very similar to the land in Cuba. So it gives you that the taste. Okay. Like a Cuban uh, tobacco. Now, is there a way for him to test the actual soil to know that the land is similar? Is it, what I, methods does he use? ¿Qué forma usan ustedes para uh, ver si la tierra eh, sabe cuando hace el tabaco la tierra que sabe mucho los tabacos cubanos? Hay una forma de saber uh, uh, de hacer eso. Sí, eh, eh, eso te lo dice el suelo y en las partes del sol. El tabaco no es más nada que sol, suelo y sabiduría. He says it's three common noun here. It's very simple. It's soil, land, and knowledge. Ahí, ahí está todo lo del tabaco. Oh, okay. You heard it right there. It's soil, land, and knowledge. Those are two questions. I think the most important question that we like to know as cigar aficionados, and I'm going to ask it right here, and you're going to find out firsthand along with me. Pepin, are you coming out with anything new that we can all be looking forward to? Va, va a sacar un tabaco nuevo que, que todo el mundo va, le va a interesar. Ahora sale el Don Pepín nuevo negro. He says he's coming out with a Don Pepín uh, black. Okay, okay. The black label I was just handed prior to this video taking place, and I can't wait to try it. But I want to go over to the cigar that I'm recommending right now. The 601 red label. 
Um, the 601 Red Label comes with a Habano wrapper. That's correct. Okay. Uh, it comes in five sizes. They make the Robusto, they make a Rabito, they make a Toro, Torpedo, and a Churchill. And now something new that you just handed to me, too. Well, we're testing um, um, a box press cigar. This will be his first box press cigar. And uh, we're just experimenting on it, and we should have it out in uh, either late December, early January. And it's a very similar taste to the uh, to the Habano, the 601 Habano. It's just in a form of box press for someone who enjoys box press cigars, for they can enjoy it also. Well, guys, I enjoy box press cigars. Okay, I, you know me, I'm a big Padron fan. A lot of his uh, anniversary stuff comes in a box press, but I can honestly tell you, this cigar is a home run. There's a couple things also that I think you should know. Prior to the release of the 601, we were selling in advance uh, multiple, multiple boxes. I can't tell you how many times I've reordered for the 601 here in this store and online. And I'm looking up top, and I see a hole up there because we're missing certain sizes right now. So we're going to be placing another order before these guys walk out the door. I just wanted to ask Eric a couple more questions about, uh, about his company, what he intends uh, to do with it, where he expects to go, and, uh, and some of the future things that he has coming up with EO Brands. I only think it's right. He's here, and we, uh, we thank him for it, and I'm going to do that now. What do you expect in the future with 601 and EO Brands? Well, I expect very commonly, uh, the, you know, the major part is to put it in someone's mouth. Um, when you taste it, I know you're going to come back to it, okay? Our next venture is the box press. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about this box press. It's not your typical box press. Uh, but being, he won't change his styles. All he does to do, he likes to, uh, you know, I wouldn't say use the word imitate, but since he's from Cuba, he knows everything there is to know about Cuban tobacco. So these box press cigars actually do get box press in a box. A lot of box press cigars made outside of Cuba, well, they're, handled, they're, they're, they're handled in presses. Right. These will be box pressed in the boxes itself. Awesome. So it's it's something that uh, no one sees out here. You know, it's a, it's an old tradition. So, you know, you can't change their ways, and I, haven't, I don't want to change his ways. You heard it there firsthand. I want to thank you again for listening in. The 601, the Habano wrapper, I'm recommending the Robusto size. It's something that I had first thing this morning. I needed to eat a cold slice of pizza, and I had a rack of spirits just to bring myself down and bring my body up to being able to handle it. Chris Basso, once again, www.tobaccoworldcigars.com, and we'll come back at you next week.